Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back for more Samba Night Holy Night. Let's just get right into it. If you like this, you already know. <laughs> Do leave a like, and I'm gonna just continue playing the game. How about that, huh? Oh, man. Oh, wait. I have to keep a cannon. Ignore the fact that I'm not actually using... There we go. Nando, my friend. Ignore that I'm not actually using the correct quests, but whatever. Alright, let's go into it. Oh! Um. What you're really missing here is the shoulder shimmy I'm doing every time this song comes on. Oh, so good, man. Love this event. There they go. I may not have been able to teach her everything I know, but at least I was able to get through the basics. Still, in the end, finding Cell is nothing more than an opportunity, especially since she isn't a saint. But even so, I'm certain we value the same things. She holds all that is holy and righteous in her heart, even as she faces down all that is wrong. I helped her build a foundation in hopes that it might be at least a little bit in regaining the strength she has lost. Good luck, Bradamante. It may not be much, but I'll be praying for your victory. Damn, somber, somber start, man. So that's our next opponent. DCCC, it's about time you showed up. We've been out here for ages. So that is our opponent, hmm? So that is our opponent, hmm? I remembered my Spanish accent, hello. Hmm, they're like, uh, once again I'm Mexican, so I should El Salvadorian. Hmm, their laugh is so unnatural, I can't help but be suspicious, yes? You're going to talk to me about being unnatural while you're dressed like that? Never mind that Quetzal mask. Don't you think it's strange that there's only one of them? True, can't fight the tag team battle alone. And if their opponent has been injured, they would have had to forfeit. So where could the other one be? DCC. So you haven't figured it out. What am I saying? Of course not. This man's accent has changed every single time. Our partner is already here. Huh? Why is the ground moving? <laughs> oh. <laughs> is it all Zementius? Trying to think of who say what? Fo fo fo. I think there's a giant that's shaking the entire pyramid, that's shaking this entire pyramid. Wow, even I have to admit, that's one amazing entrance, yes? That's it. Way to make an impact. This is exactly the sort of forward-thinking innovation we intellectual servants live for. That said, don't you think that's enough for now, partner? I'm starting to feel a little dizzy myself. Okay, I'll go back to normal then. Huh? That other one seems a lot smaller now. <laughs> I mean, they're still plenty big, but nowhere near big enough to pick up a whole pyramid. They can shrink and grow their body at will? Then they must be that bunion. Everyone down with their, done with their warm-ups, and let's just see who you're up against meow. DCCC. I am the direct current superhuman lion man. Direct current superhuman? My ring name, of course, it signifies my love for direct current and my superhuman capabilities. Oh, now I get it. DC. DC. CC. That is perfect. Lucha show. <laughs> this is the perfect lucha show I've been waiting for. What a wonderful lion mask you made. I am so happy to finally find an opponent using a ring name. So that the strange lad that you were doing was all part of your character. Estoy estático. I'm pretty sure I said that name wrong. <laughs> I mean, DCC. He's talking like a One Piece character villain. <laughs> Delighted. I am glad you understand, madam. As you surely know, professional wrestling is hugely popular in the United States as well. Every moment a wrestler's performance from their entrance to their exit is a grand spectacle. Music, video, gunpowder, the works. It's true. May have followed behind Japan's genius promoters for a time, but there's still no wrestling like U.S. wrestling. 
I guess this means that Edison. My name is Lion Man. Er, Lion Man and his partner Bunyan must be representing America then. Yep, I'm going to do my best. Too bad the ring's so tiny, it reminds me of land that's been cultivated since there's not even a plate of grass on it. A man with a lion's head and a child. <laughs> what an unusual combination. That's America, baby. So the two of you are seeking Santa Claus's power as well? Indeed. Well, I should say that I am not personally seeking to become Santa Claus. Rather, it is the future that Black Quetzal Mask, or rather this event, promises to create. Hmm, so you are trying to become Santa yourself? You just supporting my arrogant other half and making the victor of the tournament into Santa? Correct. According to her, whoever becomes a true Santa Claus will have the power to make Christmas last forever. And a never-ending Christmas would be a cause for celebration, regardless of who the true Santa ends up being. Why, you ask? Because Christmas every day means there will be presents every day. And that means every factory in the world will be kept running at full capacity all the time. <gasps> and not just toy factories. There's food processing, plants, artificial, Christmas trees. I thought they said Christmas tree milfs? Sent out for jobs? All forms of mass production will be synchronized joy. And of course, each of these wonderful factories will be positively guzzled down direct current. Mass production and massive consumption. That is what Christmas is all about. Which is why I don't care who is the true Santa Claus ends up being. As long as they make an eternal Christmas a reality, it will be bring me immeasurable joy. As for my partner here... Christmas every day would be lots of fun. You all think so too, right? Besides, if I get to be Santa myself... Then I could go around giving out presents with the little Jean and the other Santas. Yeah. And there you have it. Now do you understand? With my pure heart and my with my pure heart and my direct current, Lion Man fights for children, for presents, for justice. Justice? Are you kidding me? That's just blatant self-serving commercialism. Eternal Christmas might sound good at first, but people can't stay in paradise forever. They will always fall eventually. He fights for children. Oh my, this is going to be tough. Yes, children love luchadors with animal mess. It's so hard when two faces go against each other. The audience never knows who to cheer for. That's true. Um, oh yes, I almost forgot to activate the modifications I made to the ring. There we go. That was actually a case of when... Um, what the? I switched out the ropes for something with a little more spark. A direct current spark, to be precise. DCCC. A DC deathmatch. <gasps> <St> <laughs> Thanks for that shot of Bunyan. <laughs> Still, at least they're confined to the ring here. That's gotta be a disadvantage to her, and since she's so big, she won't be able to use her massive size to overwhelm us without touching the electrical, electrified ropes herself. Did I mention I treated her entire outfit with a special insulant? She'll have no problem touching the ropes. Go away. Go away, It's French. DCCC. How long do you think you'll be able to keep the middle of the ring, given her massive size? It's only a matter of time until she has you up against those dangerous ropes. Not to mention the electrified ropes means you can't use your aerial lucha moves. That's fighting dirty. It's called using your head, dumbass. So you're actually a heel in face clothing. Well, we can't afford to lose to a team like that, no. DCC, trash talk all you like. My brains and her brawn will soon send you packing. I was a little shocked by this twist myself, not literally, but since Dark Cuckoo said has hasn't said anything, I'm gonna give you all I'm gonna give it the all clear for now. In the red corner representing America, Lion Man and Big Body, in the blue corner representing Caldea, we have the Quetzal sisters. And now on your marks, get set, die. Oh man. Um This is still cool every single time it happens. <laughs> it literally says Lion Man and Big Body. So good. So good. Ah. 
I'm crying from how good it is. All right, we should be able to beat him, no problem. Because thankfully, all we need to do is get rid of Bunyan. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, they can't hurt us at all. What is, what is that doing? When attacking with a quick card, you have a chance to inflict stun for- Wow, what? Man, Bradamante, you're just not going to be useful this fight. That's basically what that just said to me. Okay, let's go here. I'm pretty sure she has like a full-on quick deck too. Man, that's a... That's a pain in the butt. So let's get rid of Bunyan as quickly as possible. I am the flame. I am the flame. Doing big damage. Wow. She is beating up on this thing. Let's please. Tag team. Back again. Mass production. Bye, bye, bye. Shit, are you serious? <laughs> That's not good. That is actually the opposite of good. That is bad as fuck. Okay, let's see. I mean, let's. I have to take. I have to take out a Bunyan as soon as possible because if she hits us with a noble phantasm, it is literally over. There's no coming back from that. Did she get stunned? Uh, she has a chance to be stunned. I can see it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, in case you die, Bradamante. Oh! I forgot that you could do that. I don't think that would be enough, but... Oh, never mind. I forgot that you're stupid strong. You're more super than that. Okay, so this ends in one turn, I think. What is this? Okay. This should be enough. Now, of course, if Guts just leaves here, then I have to start this entire fight over again. But I'm pretty sure Guts is here for one more turn. Yeah, that was right. So he's about to completely kill the shit out of everyone here. But it should be fine, because they both have Guts. Wait, did that say skill? I'm pretty sure Quetz can take this out in one hit. Finish him off, Quetz. Yeah, that's since his death. Nice. More bond points for me. Alright, let's finish off this story and we'll finish off the, the video, I think. Just doesn't make sense to make an entire video for what is usually a very short amount of story. Okay. Oh, is there more fighting? That's new. Okay then, join us next time as we continue fighting them. I had what? I just beat them though. All right, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.